is KOB4 Nightbeat. This does not stop people from getting their vote in. Uh, to put conspiracy theories forward sounds a lot like mega to me. Uh, but at the end of the day, yeah, you can roll your eyes. That's okay. The whole world saw that. Well, good evening, New Mexico. We begin with the heated moments during tonight's Bernalillo County Commission meeting. There's just about two months until state lawmakers return to Santa Fe to work for us. And thousands of people on Albuquerque's west side are technically still without a state senator. Former state senator Jacob Candelaria announced on Twitter last month he's giving up his seat. And Bernalillo County commissioners are in charge of picking his replacement. But the process, as you could kind of hear a little earlier, has been anything but easy. Despite that, in a 3-2 to two vote this evening, the commission appointed current state representative Mo Maestas to that Senate seat. That means the commission will just be back at it again to appoint someone to fill Maestas' soon-to-be open seat in our state house. Now, that appointment has put the commission at the center of a political standoff for weeks now. Griffin Rushton was at tonight's meeting where commissioners uh, passed two new resolutions to try and move past some of the recent drama we've seen there, Griffin. Yeah, both of the resolutions stem from a really heated meeting just three weeks ago. Commissioners were discussing when to pick Candelaria's state Senate replacement, and a line was drawn and then crossed. Commissioners got into a heated discussion that ended with some derogatory name calling. While many focused on that drama, the incident pushed one commissioner to address a long-standing oversight here in Bernalillo County. From time to time, uh, many, many times we have to appoint uh, uh, legislatures uh, when there's when there's openings. And at this point, Bernalillo County does not have a policy. For years now, Bernalillo County commissioners have appointed new state lawmakers to the roundhouse without a problem. But that era ended with Jacob Candelaria's state Senate seat. I'm flabbergasted that this commission would, in all the ways I'm trying to make this fair, just push against us. During a meeting in late October, Commissioner Charlene Piscotti attempted to speed up the process, suggesting the commission pick a candidate less than a week after first bringing it up. Commissioner Debbie O'Malley pushed back the hardest. I'm very disappointed, and I'm really disappointed in Commissioner Piscotti doing something like this. She went on to call Piscotti a derogatory word twice after the meeting, igniting calls for O'Malley to step down. But the commission still needed to pick a candidate. We cannot have a district unrepresented, not even for a day. That's why Commissioner Stephen Michael Quezada put forth a resolution tonight outlining a timeline for the replacement process once and for all. This kind of takes out politics from us being uh, able to appoint and that we actually have a policy in place. According to the new resolution, commissioners will only have three weeks to make an appointment. In that time, commissioners must also set a date for a special meeting to make that decision, and any extensions will need a majority vote. And this, what it does, is just makes it a fair and equitable process for everybody. Um, so nobody can use this as a way to either manipulate or misguide how we move forward as a commission to do our duty. Now, there was an attempt to delay the start date of this new timeline to January 1st, but that motion failed. But, you know, getting all this squared away was just part of tonight's meeting. And P Commissioner Piscotti made sure that the tension that we've touched on from the previous meeting was definitely addressed tonight. She put forth a different resolution aimed at reminding commissioners about the ethical conduct of public officers, specifically targeting O'Malley's derogatory comments. You know, I think we all have looked at the state of our politics and just been, you know, just shocked and saddened at how civil discourse has just gone so downhill. And so I am bringing forth this resolution um, because I need to stand up for what I feel is right and proper behavior. 
The commission narrowly passed that largely symbolic resolution. O'Malley abstained from that vote. However, she did air her own conduct concerns with Piscotti later in the meeting. She brought up a potential conflict of interest between the commissioner and state representative Mo Maestas, whose wife reportedly made political contributions to Piscotti's campaign. O'Malley asked Piscotti to recuse herself from the vote. We are making an appointment in lieu of an election because the people in Senate District 26 don't get their, uh, to exercise their right to vote. That process should be completely fair. If a commissioner has a potential conflict, they should not be allowed to vote. Piscotti says there is no conflict of interest and did not recuse herself. O'Malley later revealed that an ethics violation on this was filed against Piscotti last week and a preliminary hearing is set for early December. And that's not close to the only information she went on to reveal tonight, O'Malley, that <laughs> that's is. That's right. O'Malley also said that she has evidence Jacob Candelari and Mo Maestas worked together to make sure he was chosen for the Senate seat. Well, we'll see if that is presented to the public, at least to the media. All right. Griffin, thanks.